My name is Bruce Forshaw. I'm product manager for Four Farmers. Part of my role at Four Farmers is also the cow signals training. I'm a master cow signals trainer, so I will train our staff and also customers. So this gives us our guys a real basis for getting things right at a cow signals level before we even think about looking at the nutrition. So the six sides of the cow signals diamond, uh, the basis of cow signals with speed, water, light, air, space and rest. And all of those things add up to health and efficiency of the cow and the more efficient the cow is, the more efficient your farm is. When we do the training, we work around that diamond. So we look at the easier, more efficient things to do first. The light and air, and it might just be a simple case of knocking out a wall to create airflow. So we would always look at what's the easiest and cheapest thing to do first to improve the efficiency of the cows and then work our way around to perhaps the things that might cost a little bit more money, take a bit more investment. So one of the key things for cow signals is how long she'll lie down for. So if she needs she needs a comfortable cubicle, she needs to be able to get into that cubicle easily. And a high yielding dairy cow will need to lie down for 12 to 14 hours a day. Every extra hour is worth a litre of milk. We're looking at other signals specifically, if you think back when most of us used to milk at a milking parlour, the floor would come off and you could look at the teat end and see if there's any damage or any rings on the teat end or blood spots. That's not so easy to do on a robot. You don't tend to be there when the unit comes off, but the signals are still the same. So it's worth just checking what those teats look like and whether they are damaged in a robot system as well, because if they are damaged, it might be this vacuum's too high or the takeoff is uh, not quick enough. If she's uncomfortable, she'll fidget more while the robot tries to attach the unit. So that's lost time, or she may even kick the units off, which is again, not efficient for the robot. So with hoof signals coming into winter, the cows will tell you quite clearly when they're in pain. One of the biggest problems that we have on dairy farm, robot and conventional would be dermatitis. And one of the best ways to prevent that is regular foot trimming, regular foot bathing, um, but it's a well grooved floor so you can get a grip. Thing. And actually ventilation as well. So we've got dry floors. A moist wet floor is gonna end up with irritation between the claws. Irritation between the claws will end up going from interdigital dermatitis to dermatitis. And she will tell you this by paddling and dancing from foot to foot or holding her hoof up. She'll have more of an arch back as she walks and take shorter steps. So all good signals. When I was managing cows, some of the best time I spent was at the end of a milking, just going out, walking amongst the cows, looking at simple things like how many cows are lying down, how many cows are perching in cubicles, how many are cutting and how long are they cutting for? Are they cutting for 65 to 70 chews per cut? Spending that time is really valuable because you can then take those signals and use to improve your efficiency. So time well spent. So as we, as we get ready for the winter period, it's a really good time to just review your setup, you know, looking for whether there's cobwebs in the roof, checking the ventilation, making sure that the ground is dry, that the concrete is grooved and that the cows get good grip and that there are the right number of cows for the right number of cubicles and feed spaces because those things will pay dividend over the winter.